Okay, <laughs> hey y'all. Literally 20 minutes ago, it was like sunny outside and the light was really nice and it just started snowing. We not gonna let that stop nothing. I'm hoping that the lighting is still decent. And yeah, let's get into it. So these are basically the things that I ended up buying for myself while I was Christmas shopping for other people how i don't know it's not a ton of stuff <laughs> it's not a ton of stuff but um i'm gonna try not to ramble too much and yeah let's get into it let's get the couple of like beauty things out of the way okay first new foundation i'm wearing it today let me know what you think <laughs> um but this is the nars light reflecting foundation you know i was getting some other little things from sephora and i really didn't need a new foundation so wanted to give this one a try i've tried nars foundations in the past they're great they're just expensive this was 50 dollars but <laughs> um it's good and honestly it's worth it like if I'm gonna splurge on anything makeup wise, it's probably gonna be like foundation and concealer, right? It doesn't like cling to the dry spots. My skin's pretty dry, especially in the winter. And I don't know, it's like, even when I'm not wearing highlighter, which I don't tend to wear much anymore, I can see the light reflecting, light reflecting. <laughs> I can see the light reflecting like on my cheekbone and like my brow bone and just like, you know, like the planes of my face um, in a really like flattering skin-like way. And yeah, that's kind of like what I look for in a foundation. I am in the shade Barcelona. This is like a good winter color. I'll probably go one up um, as soon as I get tan. I'm waiting to get tan, y'all. I'm so over winter. Next, matter of fact, could use a little bit of this now. <laughs> okay. And this is the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse Lotion. I have seen people talking about this for years and I'm gonna be honest, like the price put me off. I don't even remember how much I actually, like how much this normally costs because I bought this on Black Friday. I was getting some things for other people and I said, you know what, let me just do it. This is worth the hype, personal opinion. Like as someone who is extremely dry, has eczema, got dry patches, just skin is going through it all the time but especially in the winter like this beats any of the other lotions that I've tried like no offense to my Necessaire, to my Aveeno, to my Fenty Body Butter. This really is my favorite. It just actually feels like it sinks in especially I'm gonna put my business out there, but especially my feet. Like, if I put this on after a bath and put socks on, my feet will actually be soft. And for me, <laughs> never happened. Never, <laughs> this has never happened before. Um, so that is what sold me on this. I will repurchase. Like, I'm gonna repurchase on sale though. I'm, mm -mm. Okay, let's do a couple of like random miscellaneous things got a book um this is fashion killer how hip-hop revolutionized high fashion yes i love getting on here and talking about clothes and talking about fashion but i'm not going to pretend that i'm like the most knowledgeable person but i'd like to learn more <laughs> um and you know this year well last year now um 2023 was like the 50th anniversary of hip-hop and so you know, there were all of these really good articles, you know, the Baltimore Museum of Art had like a show dedicated to hip hop. One of the like themes was fashion. And so, you know, they had like Dapper Dan suits and like Lil' Kim's wigs and, you know, a lot of really cool stuff. And so I was reading one of these articles, I wanna say it was New York Magazine. They mentioned this book, I wanna say they were interviewing the author. And so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get it. It's been sitting in my Amazon cart. So around Christmas, I went ahead and bought it. I feel like I've read a lot of like interviews and things over the years, like Misa Hilton or like a June Ambrose um, and all of these people, but it will be nice to have like all of this information in one place. So yeah, I'll let y'all know how it is. 
Okay, so I debated adding this next, or I guess I should say these next few items because they don't really fit into a category, but I'm a home decor lover. I'm a design lover. So as much time as I spend like looking at clothes on my phone, I spend just as much time like looking at houses and decor and vases and lamps and just all of the other stuff that I like. So let me just show it. I'm gonna hold the top. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna insert a picture so you guys can see like the different pieces of the set. Eventually, whenever I end up moving, <laughs> um, my goal is to have like all of my vintage like glassware and pottery and stuff like displayed on shelves kind of like back here yeah i just i love homeware and glassware and i collect a lot of that stuff too i finally have all of the pieces that i really wanted and um i'm really excited about that teapot y'all if you could <laughs> if you couldn't tell okay so let's get into the clothes and the accessories, right? I did show this in my last video, but I'm gonna show it here too. I'll try to insert a clip of me wearing it. I got this wool maxi skirt. This is one of the only good things that I thrifted all of 2023. You know, I love a plaid skirt, love a maxi skirt. It has the little fringe detail. This is a vintage size 14, which means it just fits. <laughs> This was six dollars like so cute it looks good with heels it looks good with like some chunky black boots yeah I just love that let's do accessories now might as well put this one on you may have also seen this <laughs> in my last video but this is just from the brand praying you may have seen them on like essence a lot of people have the camo like god's favorite hat i think that's cute but i don't need people like strangers talking to me about religion and it feels like that's what that hat is going to invite nah i can't have that so this one just says ha ha <laughs> like as someone who loves neutrals it looks so good with all of these colors like cream um brown green I'm starting to like purple, y'all. I'm start. I'm starting to, in like small doses. Yeah, I kind of want to keep this on now. Yeah, why not? Next, I got a bag. Got this on eBay. Vintage Wilson's leather. It's kind of like a bowling bag shape. It's a super dark brown. And then of course you see it has like the silver buckles and hardware. I don't know. It's kind of like a Y2K type of shape the bowling bag of course you can go back further like bowling bags are a thing since like the 60s right but i just wanted something very specific and i didn't want it to look costumey and so you know you see kind of like the von dutch bowling bags they're just a little too i don't know that gets played out so quick i remember a couple of years ago girls were buying those i haven't seen one since right this is like the shape um, but it's just a little more timeless and I love that this has no branding so you know I love a little Cole Haan, Wilson's leather you know just like a good leather brand that does not have like logos and crap all over it yeah love this next I have mentioned Y2K a few times because honestly I have been into the y2k resurgence and i know that like all of the trend videos are saying that like 90s minimalism is in for 2024 that's cute um it's a little boring to me to me <laughs> i don't know like and i'm saying that as someone who loves like neutrals and you know a white tank top and slacks like I love that look too but I don't know I feel like where Y2K has the 90s beat is accessories anyway I'm saying all that to say <laughs> I got this vintage D squared belt let me show definitely going to insert a little video or picture somewhere but I love this 
I love this so much. As you can see, I'm really into dark brown and silver hardware, but it's in perfect condition. The buckle is super heavy. You know, they have other versions of this with like the banana and other stuff. I just loved how even though it's kind of like big and a little bit gaudy, um, I don't know, I feel like the colors keep it from being too much. So like, I don't know, with like some loose jeans and like some white Air Force Ones, I'm kind of interested to see how this would look with like a chunky sweater. Like chunky off the shoulder kind of like cream sweater. This loose jeans and then honestly some tims would be cute like yes air force ones could work but for winter with some tims and then maybe like a beanie or a cute hat that's cute to me it's cute to me and then last i had to run and get it she had to run too last piece drum roll blah, 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 blah. i got me a red leather jacket no it's not giving thriller no it's not giving eddie murphy okay i don't know exactly what it's giving honestly it's giving bella hadid bitch <laughs> i feel like it's pretty true to color like what you guys are seeing and how it looks in real life if anything it's like a smidge deeper in real life here she is ah. another one of those things this is why i'm so into like having a wish list of things that you're looking for instead of just like buying on a whim i'm very into just like having a list you know looking 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 because there's something so satisfying when you finally find like the perfect version of whatever it is that you're looking for at a good price because yeah it's not impossible to find like a vintage red leather jacket but was it going to be like the color I wanted the size that I needed the fit that I needed the collar that I wanted um and not be $250 or $300 which I know people will spend that for a leather jacket but I'm not trying to pretend to be rich on the internet. Like, that's a lot of money to me. So this was $80, well worth it to me. I'll have it forever. The leather is already soft, but this is only gonna get better like the more that I wear it. And I cannot wait for it to be like nice and slouchy and like, ugh. So yeah, peace de resistance. Is that what they say? Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Oof. Look, tell me why I almost forgot this. I had to run over there and turn the camera back on. You wanna know why I almost forgot this? Because I've been using it, okay? Yes, I showed it in my last video, but I haven't really talked about it. And it is the Denim Tail Far Baby. This is the medium in denim blue. Look, let's talk about, let's talk about this, right? I had really been over till far for a minute. Like, I gotta just be honest. I have three bags, actually. Um, I have a black medium, a brown medium, and then a small and sage. Of the three, the sage little teeny bag actually gets the most use because sometimes I just want like a little pop of color on an outfit. Um, that bag is totally impractical. It's like a brunch bag. It's like a, I'm not gonna need anything besides like, you know, my keys, a lip gloss, and my wallet. Cause you can't fit nothing else in it. Like, and I'm really not here for those totally like unusably small bags, right? Then there's the fact that like, I think Telfars are actually too expensive for the fact that they're faux leather. They just will never do what real leather does, which is like look better with time. They won't start to get a nice slouch. They won't start to get that nice buttery feeling. They won't patina. They just won't do any of it. Um, and I'm not here for that. Like, yes, yeah, support black businesses, support black brands, but those bags need to be $100 cheaper for the quality that they are. 
just my opinion. It's my opinion, right? <laughs> but I said all of that, I got all the negative out of the way to say, this bag has like brought me back to Telfar. I love this bag so much. The quality is great. I have been loving it. Like the shade of blue, the stitching, it's the perfect size. Like the fact that it has a zipper, because that's also a major gripe that I have as someone who like be on the train and taking public transportation. I need to be able to really close my bag. I did embellish it, I guess you'll say a little bit. So like, I was seeing all the girls like tying bows on their bags and hanging little charms and all of that stuff, but, and, and it's cute. That trend is cute, but, um, Everything that I was seeing was feeling a little juvenile to me. These are just some vintage pins that I got on eBay. Janet Jackson and of course, Teddy Pendergrass. Shout out to my granny. So I think this is my first time saying this, but um, if you like the video, y'all please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, I really appreciate it. Um, and yes, thank you for watching and I will see you guys for the next one.